What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Virgil van Dijk poster. Now if any of you follow football you'll know that he got injured recently so I just wanted to do an appreciation appreciation post uh, for him. Uh, make a poster and just give you guys some new tips and tools that you can use within your Photoshop's uh, arsenal. So uh, I'm going to be using these files on my left um, and these are going to be in the description below for you to download so don't worry about that and the textures I'm going to leave in the description as well they'll be in a file and all you need to do is download them just a quick heads up I've just made a new Instagram account so I'll leave the link in the description if you guys could follow that that'd be great uh, I'm just trying to gather another following really just so you guys know when there's gonna be video uploads and just just a bit more info for you guys uh, thank you so much for helping me hit 200 subscribers that was huge uh, that we've gained over 100 subscribers in a month that's just amazing for me considering it took ages just to get 100 subscribers thank you so much um and that's about it uh, if you'd like to get ready and let's get straight into the video all right guys welcome back so i've got my image here well my uh background so i'm just going to show you the size of that quickly so if you just go to image and then image size or canvas size either one that's the size of the uh it's just perfect size for posting on instagram and social media if you guys want to do that so that's what the size is so let's get straight into it the first thing i'm going to ask you to do is get the rectangle tool so the rectangle tool is over on the left and then i'm just going to select a red color so this will be probably personal preference really i've chosen this red so that's the hex code right there just copy that and what you want to do is make sure you've got shape selected go to the corner and drag it across and hold shift if you want while you're doing this but you don't have to so as, as long as it covers the whole thing now make sure there's no white bits you can obviously just make it a little bit bigger so you can't see any white because we'll cut out in the end before we do the camera or filter now we're going to move on to adding clouds it may sound weird but it'll add a nice texture for us so if you just want to create a new layer down on the right and then we're going to go up to uh, uh, filter and then we're gonna go render and then we're gonna go clouds as you can see it's gone red so obviously you don't want it to go red straight away so you need to change your color to black and white and then you're gonna go to filter again and then go to render and clouds so now as you can see we've got black and white clouds now it obviously doesn't look very good like this if I left it like this it wouldn't look very good so if you select that layer and then we're gonna go to filter liquify so we've gone to liquify now now all you need to do is start holding down and spinning now as you can see I've already created quite a nice texture um, now this is a really good technique for you guys to learn now it's simple all you have to do is pretty much move your mouse around basically manipulate these clouds images so you can do this with any color as well uh, it doesn't really matter too much you want to make sure that you get a lot of spinning in just so it makes a nice marble effect I would say so once you've got all that done that's good now you just click OK and now that's on the design so the next thing we're going to do is overlay this so what we need to do is go down to probably pin light that looks good that's what I had it on before so there we go we've got our background and the next thing we're going to do is add a black rectangle so make sure you've got black selected and you want to select your rectangle tool again so we've got this no stroke now we're just going to hold down and probably press you don't need to press anything just let it let it come out that's a probably a decent size rectangle maybe make it a bit thinner hold shift and make it thinner and then we're just going to zoom in like so and then position it where we think is necessary now the next thing we're going to do probably name these so this is going to be background make sure you always name your items because otherwise you'll just get mixed up and you won't know which is which uh, that's liquify and then you can just leave the black rectangle as it is so once you've named everything you just want to go um you want to zoom out and then we're going to drop the images in we're going to go to our assets panel and we're just going to grab the images and drop them in so i've already added a drop shadow for you so you shouldn't have too much trouble doing that so once you've selected them all drag and drop and then we're just going to drop them in here so now all you have to do is position them in the right place so i've got them about there that looks good to me so the next thing you're going to want to do is resize this van dyke so he fits the rectangle so what you want to do is make sure his legs are literally on the edge of that black re black rectangle so it doesn't look like he's overlapping but his arms are still coming out and his head's overlaying it that looks really good now the next thing we're going to do is probably add some uh the shadows on the bottom of van dyke's feet here so what you're going to do is get see your layers at the top here so you want to go below that and then create a new layer you want to make sure you got the black selected get your paintbrush tool and then you're going to want to make it a soft brush and then you're going to make it really thin so if you just drag and drop that down and obviously you want a small size brush now you're going to zoom in to where his feet are and then we're just going to sort of angle 
the uh, brush so it's like perfect to uh, perfect for this this picture then we're just gonna make the brush smaller again so if you just reduce size to about 100 and then you can just sort of uh, a few times and then make a nice shadow and then we're just gonna do the same again here make a little shadow now that looks good now if you zoom out it looks like he's actually standing on something so now that I've got that I'm just gonna go down and I'm gonna darken the image just so it adds a nice little effect now it's obviously it's not too harsh on the design but you can definitely tell that he's standing on something so that's that that's the shadow done so as you can see this is quite an easy tutorial so I'm just gonna quickly cut to the subscriber bit and then I'll be back all right guys just a quick update I've seen that a lot of you aren't subscribed who are watching the video, so I'm just going to put a little thing on the screen now which will show you the percentage. I'm not making you subscribe, but if you are enjoying the videos, then it would really, really help me out if you could subscribe and just show a bit of love to the channel because I'm trying to reach that 1,000 mark so I can start uh, improving my videos for you guys and start, um, uh, start being able to create more videos and helping you out more. So if you are watching this and you aren't subscribed, just take a bit of time out of your day and just subscribe and it just gives me that extra push you know just to make more videos for you guys thank you for watching and enjoy the video right so welcome back guys uh hope you enjoyed that little bit of the video it's just so i can let you know that obviously i want you to subscribe and i want you to support the channel but obviously you don't have to it's a it's your own choice so next thing we're going to probably do is add the text around the edges so if i just go back to the the uh, poster and i'll just put it up on the screen now you can see there's text around the edges of the design so we're going to do that now so if you get your text tool and you want to download this font called Muro, some of you might have it, some of you might not, but it doesn't matter too much because I'll leave a link in the description below. Now we're just going to click and we're just going to select anywhere you want and then we're just going to type Van Dyke or you can type Virgil Van Dyke. It just makes no difference really, but it'll just make it longer. So we've got Virgil Van Dyke. Now we're going to change this to white. So if I just um, get my text tool, select it again, I'm just going to change it to white and that's good so that's done now as you can see it's obviously not like it was in the uh, other poster so what we're going to do is just reduce the size down quite small now you don't want it too big because it will just overpower the design but you don't want it too small so you can't read it so if you get it down to where you want it and then you just put it there now what we're going to do is hold alt and then shift and then drag it about about that much apart and maybe a little bit more personal preference really so what we're going to do we're going to do this again we're going to make sure that the uh, the width between all of them is the same and then we're just going to do that one more time so now I've got all that I'm just going to select all of them command T and I'm just going to move them into place once I've done this they will be in line with the design now all I need to do is select them all still and then group them together so this is bottom text now command J this and then you're just going to command T zoom out a bit and then you're just going to drag this up to the top of the design so that looks good um, it's in line with the other one as well which is good so you want these two texts you want them below the design otherwise it's just overlapping a bit too much and you don't want that really so we're gonna command we're just gonna command T this again or command J command T because obviously we've got to get this going down the side like so so hold shift and then you just want to drag it down here now it's not going to be long enough so you're probably gonna have to add a few more bits or a few more bits of words um, like so so if I just select this one and then I'm just gonna command J that and then command T and then I'm just gonna drag this down and there you go that's done so now in this copy we uh, have enough so we're just gonna zoom out again same process hold it oh actually no hold alt so you just want to command J sorry command T and then hold shift drag it across so it's the same distance that looks good to me now you can rotate this so it goes the other way it's personal preference again but something like that that looks good looks clean and then obviously it's in the background so if you just hold and select all of those and then group them together this will be the background text right so we've got one more text to add so this is just going to be a bit bigger so I'm just going to select here and then I'm just going to type Virgil now you're going to want to increase the size of this so just hold and drag you can hold shift but you don't have to and then just going to position it wherever you see fit I'm going to just make sure it's above the text and then I'm going to move this up a little bit just so it doesn't get too too lost in that and then by doing this sort of adds a nice heading for us so you don't have to have it too big but you can have it small if you want and then I'm just going to type again and then I'm going to go van so there you go 
now this this can be uh, smaller if you want like really small big I don't mind but that's how I'm having it so what you want to do is group those together and then we're going to command J so it's another one then command T just move it down a little bit then we're just going to bring that below then we're going to change the saturate the, the uh, blending mode to saturation so now as you can see it looks like it's a little bit 3d so that works really well we're nearly at the final stage of doing a camera or filter so the next thing we're going to do is add two bits of texture uh, so which will be in the uh, assets panel that I'm going to leave you so if I just go and get those now and then I'll be right back right so I've drag and dropped the texture in so this is the order they're going to be in so you want the paper on the top and then the rough texture on the bottom so if I just grab this and then I'm just going to position it where I see fit and then I'm just going to change this to probably something like you can change it to whatever you want but whatever looks best probably so dodge looks pretty good you can still see all the texture linear dodge so I'm going to leave that at that and then you can reduce the opacity if you think it's too strong so the next one is going to be the paper. Now this is where you get the proper texture and makes it look more like a old school poster. So you want to just change this to probably something like multiply. And then obviously reduce the opacity to where you see fit. If it's at full, it's quite strong, but you might like that more. So I'm just going to bring it back down to about 75, 74, 76, somewhere around there. So as you can see, that did not take long to do. So I'm going to leave you all the assets and uh, you'll be able to just put them all together. But obviously, if you want help doing anything else, you need to let me know in the comments and I'll reply straight back to you. We've got all the image together. We're just going to go down to the bottom and lock the background. Click it and then hold shift and select the whole image. Now we're just going to group that all together. And then we're going to go command J, command E. Now you know the process. You've seen enough of my videos. If you haven't, this is uh, the best way to get your camera or filter looking good. So select that and then highlight the whole image. Layer via cut. Cut away all the edges that we don't need. So we got rid of those and then delete that. Next thing to do is go filter, camera raw filter, and then that should load up. Right, so I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. Um, I'll probably speed this bit of the video up, but if you need any help with camera raw filter, I've made a video on my channel explaining it. So if you just wait and look in the description, I'll leave a link and you can go straight to that. So I'll see you in a minute. Right guys, welcome back. I've done the camera raw filter. I just wanted to show you a quick before and after of what the design looked like. So as you can see, it's changed quite a bit, but it looks more complete. So the red's gone a bit more pink, but I think it looks really good and captures the effect. Now I've added a bit of blue as well. So as you can see, it looks a lot different, but a lot better. So the liquify in the background looks really clean and really nice and the texture is really popping on the design. That's what I wanted with this design. I hope you have, well, you see successful results like I have. So I'm just going to click OK and then we should be done. Now I'm going to leave, if you want, I can leave this PSD file in the description below so you can have a look at what I've done if you don't follow along with the tutorial. So let me know in the comments if you want that and I'll add it in. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to check out the Instagram uh, and give it a like and look at the pictures and follow along. Uh, be a part of the team and like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.